Breaking news off the top at six, a hazmat scare in Lauder Hill has forced the evacuation of a firehouse and put a school on lockdown. That lockdown lifted about half an hour ago. Chopper 4 live over the scene in the 900, 1900 block of Northwest 56th Avenue. Let's go right to CBS 4's Carrie Codd in Lauder Hill with the latest. Carrie? Well, Elliot and Rudabay, still a very active scene out here. We are several blocks away from the area police are calling the potential blast radius here. You can see a wall of fire trucks and ambulances that's been set up um, about maybe a quarter of a mile away from where this is all unfolding. Take a look at Chopper 4 right now over the scene. We're told that the Broward Sheriff's Office bomb squad robot has at this point separated two of the three hazardous materials that were brought to this Lauder Hill fire station in a bucket an hour or two ago by a woman. We are told that once they separate these three, uh, all three of the items that are inside that bucket, which apparently include TNT, and potassium nitrate and then another substance, fire officials feel that this will be uh, deemed safe and they'll be able to take those materials out of here. This story has a very bizarre genesis. Apparently, according to Lauder Hill Fire, a woman uh, found these materials in a garage at a home in Davie after her husband passed away and she drove around to three different fire stations in Broward County today to try and dispose of these materials. At three of the fire stations, apparently she couldn't get in touch with anyone, but when she got here, it set off this massive scare, an evacuation of the fire station, a lockdown of Royal Palm Elementary, although, as you mentioned, Ruta Bay, they have now released those children. Um, but this has been unfolding for the past hour or so. Traffic backed up in the area. Residents kept far away from this area. The media kept back as well. People uh, obviously concerned, fearing that there might be some sort of explosion, but it looks at this point, like that bomb robot has been able to separate two of the three materials. We will stay on this and keep you posted about the outcome. Live in Lauderhill, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.